Hey everybody, I am back with another visual pattern challenge. Another pattern that I got from visualpatterns.org. Check them out, there's lots of patterns you can puzzle over there. Um, if you've been following these, you probably will get this one pretty easily. Uh, but your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to predict what happens in the next step. So here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. There are more trees every step. So how many trees exactly are gonna be in step four? That would be part of the challenge. A, a, a harder challenge would be to predict how many in step 43, pretty far down the line in the number of steps. Uh, and then along with that, can you write an equation that would be able to predict any step, the number of trees in any step? So that's what we're doing today. If you want to accept that challenge, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work it out. Okay. So I think uh, you may be able to see what's going on here pretty easily. We start with three trees, and then we've got those original three trees, and it looks like we've added two more. And then in the next step, it looks like we've added two more on top of that. So the next step, we should add two more. So it looks like we're adding two in every step. So that's, that's pretty clear. I think a good habit to get into is making a little chart to, to look at the numbers. Maybe you don't need to in this case, but I'm going to anyway. So this is the step number and then the number of trees. So in step number one, we have three. In step number two, we have five. In step number three, we have seven. And I'm predicting we're going to have two more than that in step number four. So that would be nine. One thing to do when you've got these numbers set up like this is to look at the rate of change, the difference from step to step here in the number of trees. So the difference between three and five is two, five and seven, another two, seven and nine is two. And when you get that steady difference, every step has the same difference, you know it is what we call a linear pattern. And you know that this two corresponds to the two we're growing by every step. So we've already talked about step four, how many in the next step? We, we predict that's gonna be nine. How many in step 43? Well, I think to get that, I mean, you could sit there and add to, add to, add to over and over again. You'd probably lose track of how many times you added to and have to start over. So that would be annoying. So let's see if we can write an equation that we can use to figure out step 43. When we have a linear pattern like this, something that grows at a constant rate, we can use the, the, the equation for a line. And I'm going to write the, the slope intercept form of this line y equals mx plus b. In this slope intercept form, m stands for the slope. And in terms of a pattern like this, when we're using this equation for a line to model a pattern, it's really, you can think about it as the change, the rate of change of this of this pattern. And it's it's steady, it's two every, every step. So our slope or our rate of change is gonna be two. So I can put in y equals two x plus b. Now what is that b? Well, the way to determine that is to, let me number my steps here. Here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. We can look at step one and, and X is gonna represent the step number and Y is gonna represent the number of trees. So we need three trees in step one. So Y equals two times one, step one, plus some number. So it looks like three equals two plus, well, that would have to be one because two plus one is three. So our equation is going to be y equals 2x plus 1. In step number 1, we plug in a 1 there. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. We might want to check just to be sure we've got that right. Does it work for step 2? Well, if I put a 2 in here, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Yeah. How about step 3? 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Yeah, that checks out. So it looks like this equation is correct. Now we can use this then for step 43 without having to do a lot of counting. We can ask how many trees are there when the step number is 43. So two times 43 plus one. Well, two times 43 is 86 plus one is 87. So if you got 87 for the number of trees in step 43, right on, good job. Thanks everybody.